Hey pals, Palomar here, back with another video. I know I haven't seen you guys in quite some time, but I'm back for Dragonlands to make a lot of Palo content. who? Bro, you fell off. Your content's literally irrelevant. What a joke. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm back with some videos. Uh, with Dragonlands right around the corner, I decided this is a perfect time to kind of get back active on YouTube. Uh, I think I'm going to start by doing a bunch of these simple burst rotation videos again like I did in the past. Uh, as of right now, I plan to be covering the Asa Rogue, Sub Rogue, Feral, and Windwalker. If you guys want me to do more, just put them in the comments. I could probably do Warrior or maybe some Casters. Uh, but that's all I got planned for right now, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So for Asa Rogue, there's actually a couple ways to go about this. I thought what I would do is break it between three different type of rotations. Uh, so what I have is a basic opener, which you're going to use in a lot of situations like in 2v2 to get your damage rolling. Uh, just kind of like a ramp up. Sometimes in a 3v3, depending on what comp you're playing in the opener. Uh, and then I have a burst opener where you're going to basically shove all your burst in an opener, which I wouldn't really recommend because this is kind of inefficient just with the way that Asa Rogue works. And then lastly, I have a maximum burst rotation which is basically how to just do the most amount of damage in a short window but that is going to require some ramp up so i'll go through each of them show you guys the rotations and then maybe we can break them down in slow motion uh but yeah let's jump into it for the basic opener what i have here is uh basically what you're going to be doing in a lot of games if you're playing 2v2 with a healer and you just need to get your damage rolling let's say you're fighting versus like a warrior and a resto druid right you don't want to open up and use all your burst right away because the druid is just going to open up and peel you or just use cooldowns and heals warrior easily through your cooldowns right so you want a basic soft opener this is what you're going to do you're going to open with a mark for death kidney into a garrote and then since you're playing Shrouded Suffocation, which is this talent down here. These are my talents, by the way, guys. Probably should have showed those, but here you go. Uh, since you're playing this, your Groat's actually going to give you a lot of combo points from Stealth, which means that you can put up a Rupture right away, uh, and it's going to have a good amount of combo points. Um, also, really important that you Groat from Stealth with this window. You'll have a three-second window when you open. Groat is currently one of the biggest sources of damage for Asa Rogue, so I'd highly recommend... Um, that you use that in the opener. So like I said, Mark for Death Kidney into a Groat. You're going to put up a three-point rupture. Uh, and then from there, you can basically spam Ambush and Mutilate really quick a couple times to get some points to get a slice of nice rolling. Now, this is a really efficient ramp-up type opener. You're not going to do crazy damage. I mean, I'll just show you what it looks like really quick. Mark for Death Kidney, Groat, put up a three-point rupture. And then you're going to Ambush or Mutilate and just get a slice of nice rolling. So as you can see down here, I have a Tell Me When Aura that shows. Um, I've got all my bleeds rolling, I got slice up, and I got a kidney on the target, and I have damage rolling. This is a great way to start some games uh, three in 2v2 and 3v3. So now up second, I actually have a burst opener. Um, like I said, I would not really recommend doing this one, uh, because you can get way more value out of your damage if you have things ramped up already. But sometimes there are situations where it is good to open with full burst, so I'll go ahead and show you that. Alright guys, so what the burst opener is going to look like is the same as the basic one at the start. You're going to mark for the kidney into a garrot and put up a rupture. Uh, but instead of passively building up a slice and dice, you're actually going to go aggressive and use death mark right away. You're going to follow this with exsanguinate. Uh, and this is where most of your damage is going to start pumping very hard. Now, um, after this, you have the option to decide if you want to use your Shadow Meld as Night Off or your Vanish to apply restuns to the target. Um, what this does is it's just going to keep them locked down. The dots will carry most of your damage. Uh, and it will guarantee that they have to use a trinket or major cooldowns to survive. You also don't need to do this. Let's say you're training a specific target. They might just not be able to heal through your damage. So another option you can do is also apply a shiv out of the uh, exsanguinate. This way you're applying hemotoxin for a huge healing reduction. And you're getting bonus nature damage off your improved shim. Uh, your improved shim. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what that will look like really quick. And uh, maybe you guys can practice this in game. So mark for that kidney. Garrote into a rupture, and then you're going to death mark into an exsanguinate, and then you can just basically meld for a restun once, and you can try to get another one in there and press in venom. And just like that, you can basically kill someone 100 to 0 um, with just meld restuns. Now, I wouldn't always recommend melding or vanishing to restun, as these are pretty important um, cooldowns for you, but when there is an opportunity, this is something you can definitely take advantage of. Alright, guys, now we're going to be covering the max amount of burst rotation. Um, for this one, the big difference is this is more realistic in an arena setting. Uh, we're going to pre-build the combo points for our kidney. Uh, we're going to pre-build a Groat Rupture and Slice and Dice all up on the target in ourselves. This way, we have the smallest amount of globals that we need to use during the kidney uh, to get our damage pumping. So, 
Um, I'll go ahead and get everything ramped up. Something to mention really quick. It's really important that we use an enhanced Garote in this burst. So what I mean by that is we have a talent called Improved Garote. Three seconds after you break your stealth, um, your Garote will do 50% increased damage and have no cooldown. Uh, we play a lot of modifiers like this one, Bloody Mess, which gives you raw Garote damage. And then this one down here. Uh, which means it does even more damage. So getting a growth from stealth is really, really important since death marks our biggest burst cooldown. Uh, and this just doubles that growth. Um, so yeah, really important. If you can get a stealth growth, you should try to do it for the burst. But yeah, I'll go ahead and ramp up my bleeds really quick. So I'm just going to get a full slice and ice up. And then after the slice and ice, I'll put up a rupture. And uh, we're going to actually save our um, mark for death since we're, we have time to pre-build. So what I'll do here is I'll get four combo points and I'll re-stealth so I can get a stealth garrote. So what the rotation is going to look like is from stealth, we're going to garrote, kidney, and then we're going to death mark, exang. So garrote, kidney, death mark with badge, exsanguinate, shiv, mark for death, and venom. And uh, with all these abilities combined, we do a ton of damage. So the reason why I shoved the shiv in before the mark for death and venom is because improved shiv gives us bonus nature damage. It's going to make your venom hit harder. And it also applies hemotoxin to the target. So if somebody's healing them, obviously, if you don't have CC, this is going to help a lot. Um, if it's something like a resto druid that has a conduit or not a conduit, sorry, that has a talent that heals them while they're in a stun, this is going to reduce the healing of that as well. So it could be really good to throw the shiv in depending on what target you're killing. Um, good habit to build. But yeah, once again, going over that, you're going to pre-build a Garrote, Rupture, Slice and Dice, and Combo Points, and then you're going to Kidney Shot, Death Mark with your badge if you're playing it, press Exsanguinate, and then you're going to um, Shiv into a Mark for Death and Venom. And that should probably kill anyone. If they don't die to that, once again, optional, you can Shadow Meld or Vanish to re-stun them two times with Sutterfuge, or you can vanish uh, to like restun once into a half garrote or something like that. Um, lots of ways to go about it, but um, you should be able to 100 to 0 targets in CC by using this burst um, pretty consistently. Anyways, pals, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, like I said, I've got a sub rogue video, Windwalker and Feral coming soon. I'll try to bump those out. Uh, now I can talk about all the boring stuff for all the actual true Palamore homies. Uh, guys, I am really sorry. It has been a long time. Uh, currently, I'm actually in a subathon on my Twitch. Twitch TV, Twitch TV, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Palomore. Uh, been live here for about 800 hours in a row. Um, did this last year and was live for about 1,096. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I've been really busy. Um, YouTube just hasn't been a priority for me, so I'm really sorry. Um, if you guys are coming back to play WoW and Dragonlands, make sure you come to my stream and hang out. Uh, I'm live pretty much every day, um, even outside of the subathon. But yeah, I do kind of miss you guys, man. I kind of miss you guys. I got my chat right here who's been making fun of me as I've taken so many different takes throughout this video. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be back making some videos. Um, I'm going to go start working on the other ones. But yeah, guys, please like the video. Please drop a comment and put a pog champ or something like that. Uh, but yeah, much love. Anyways, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Ah!